The Govi Smart LED lamp is a stylish modern lamp that adds some calming light and ambience to any bedroom or office. But is it worth the price tag and will it replace those old 20th century traditional lamps in your home? Well, I will be answering those questions in this video and plenty more, so stick around so you can watch the whole review. Everybody, welcome to Dad's Dojo. If this is your first time here, my name is Chris, and in my channel, I try to give you my honest opinion and experiences on affordable products to hopefully give you an idea of whether or not you should purchase it. If this is the type of content you're looking for, then please consider subscribing and tapping the notification bell. Also, don't forget to watch the video of my office upgrade where I went through all the steps, and you can find that link up above and in the description below. So I've had the Govi Smart LED lamp for about two weeks now and purchased it on Amazon for $59.99. Everything in the box is nicely packed and has plenty of padding. In the box, you'll get the instructions, a USB-C cable with an attached controller box that has 3M double-sided tape and the AC wall adapter. The smart lamp weighs about two pounds and is about 15 inches tall. The long tube is wrapped in a metal frame and the base is all plastic with rubber feet underneath. There are three dedicated buttons, one for power, brightness, and changing between preset colors. The color temperatures range from 1,800 to 3,000 Kelvin with 16 million colors to match any color scheme of your decor. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find the max brightness or lumens on any the spec sheets, but we'll talk about my opinion on this later. It's also compatible with and Google to integrate with your smart home. There's also a built-in microphone which could be used to listen to music to match the rhythm. It also supports up to 20 different scene modes which you can easily adjust based on your mood or style. If you want to utilize all the features this smart lamp has to offer, you'll need to install the Govi Home app. Or you can just be boring, plug it in, and just use it with the dedicated touch controls. Come on, I know why you're here. You want 60 million colors, 20 different scene modes, smart home integration, voice control, and the latest and greatest. Once you download and install the Gobi Home app, you'll need to create an account. Once you're logged in, you'll need to press on the plus button on the top right hand corner in order to set up the lamp. You can either press on the Bluetooth button on the top right hand corner in order to search for that device. Or you can just search for the name or model number in order to find the device you want to set up. Of course, you need to make sure the lamp is plugged in and powered on. You also need to make sure you enable Bluetooth and location services on your phone in order to set up the device. After a few seconds, the name will pop up on the list. If it doesn't, try rebooting the lamp again, set up the name you want to call the device, and then connect it to your Wi-Fi, and that's pretty much it, it's all done. This is the home page on the Govi app, and we'll jump into a little bit more specifics on this in a little bit. Here on the bottom, there's a couple different buttons here, and we'll go to the first one here, which looks like a little globe. This is Govi's like little social media community. Users can upload you know, their own creations and videos of you know all their lighting effects. For instance, we can click on one of these DIY videos that a user uploaded. So I'm just gonna click on this bottom right hand corner one and we can watch that video of their lighting effects. What's really cool is if you see that little button down here where it says DIY from H6117, that's actually the model number of the device. So you'll need to be aware that not all of the lighting effects will be compatible with your device. So we'll just try it out here and click on that and see if it does apply. You can see how I applied the color effects from it bouncing from neon blue to neon purple, but it's obviously not gonna match directly to the user because they're using a different device. There's another little feature in here called AI image effects. And if you click on that, you'll be able to upload any picture. Say you wanna match a certain color of a living room or team or whatever the case may be, you can upload that image and then it'll kind of scan it and then output a match of colors. Under light effect creators, you can click on one of these users. And this is where kind of that social media integration really shines here. You can see their feed of what you know, they're talking about, it's almost like Twitter, they can post, you know, their own messages or comments or whatever you want to call it. And then you can give them a thumbs up, you can reply back, you can also see, you know, their videos. I think it's great that Govi's building their own little community among their users, where they can share their content and creativity. And then you can easily apply that right to your own lights within two clicks. Moving to the next page here, this is their discovery area. A lot of these videos seem like sponsored videos, you can learn about new products, they also keep up with information 
of what's going on, you know, updates. So if we go to roadmap here, they talk about things that they're developing, you know, what they're looking into, you know, here under research and then what has been released. They also have a form area where you talk to other users. You can post different types of topics, reviews, there's ideas, feedback. You can even uh, post for help. I mean, it's an easy way for people to learn about their products and then also ask questions and then see what's going on behind the scenes. So moving on here to the next page, you see that little shopping cart should be pretty straightforward, but this is actually their own little store. You can actually see any deals that they have and you can purchase any of their products, you know, right here on the app. So the last page here is going to be settings and then your user profile. And then you can also report an issue or ask for a replacement. Now back here on the home page, uh, this is where you're going to see all your devices that you set up. We're going to be going into the Workdesk lamp, which is the Govi smart LED lamp. Uh, you can easily turn that off just by pressing on that on and off. So I'm going to click on off here and you should see it turn off here in a second. Took about five seconds and we'll turn that back on again. Now, if we really want to get into all the different colors and settings, all we can do is click on that little tile. And once again here, it takes a few seconds and then boom, there you go. These are your four main modes here, music, color, scene, and DIY. Now here in Effects Lab, you can kind of pick some of your favorite colors from all different types of categories, but they even have ingredients. They have cucumber, bread, animals. I mean, there's just tons of different options here. You can pick so many different types of color schemes. On timer, it's more or less like a schedule, so you can set up specific time frames when you want it to turn on and off. You can easily adjust the brightness here by dragging on this bar. Under music, mode that's pretty straightforward but this mode uh, right here in this little button here if you can see that this is actually using the microphone built in on the Govi smart LED lamp you can actually see it kind of moving to my voice right now but if you were playing music it would try to match that rhythm you can also press that button to select the microphone from your phone back on the color mode this is where you'll be able to select a preset color or you can just kind of scroll here on this color bar and I can easily just pick, I'm gonna pick that red color towards the bottom there, change to that red color. There's also a color wheel, same thing here, you know, no difference, you can just kind of you know, pick whatever color you want. Now in scene mode, this is those 20 different scenes that they were talking about and those features. Just a lot of, um, you know, customized templates that has a specific type of color and lighting effect. So the last mode is gonna be DIY mode. I haven't really created anything yet, so I'm just gonna click on that plus button. And then once again, up here, this is kind of what I was referring to before in the community and be able to upload your own content to everyone else. And once you create your own DIY project, Project here, then you can easily press that share button to share it to the world. Now back on the home page here, they have a section called smarts. So you can sync up all your lighting devices together based on Wi-Fi control or Bluetooth control. So that way you have all your devices synced together on the same color scheme and lighting effects. So everything matches up perfectly. The Gobi Home app is full of features and customizations and they really make it user friendly. They have a fast growing community and I really like the direction they're taking this app. They're really embracing their users to grow this community with their products and then be able to create content based on all these cool lighting effects. I also want to remind you about a really good deal with Akko, a phone insurance company that offers affordable rates. If you want to try out their service and get a free month, all you got to do is click on my link below. I did a full video on this, so I'll also put that up above and in the description below. The LEDs seem to be all based on the bottom of the tube that just shoot upward. The colors radiate through the tube and holes of the metal frame. The Gobi Smart Lamp can match any color or decor in your home. The combination of colors are almost endless and it's so relaxing to look at. It really has this unique design. If you were to throw this in the living room and had a friend come over, I bet they would ask what kind of lamp that is. I also noticed it can get a little bit warm on the lower portion of the tube if you leave it running for an extended period of time. It can really add some nice ambience and mood lighting to any part of your home. I have these smart lamps set up in my office on my work desk and I generally use it for a more calming light. Especially especially in those really early hours in the morning. So I really like the Govi Smart LED lamp for its modern design and smart features. But I'm not sure I would consider it a lamp. I think it's more of an ambient or mood light than a lamp, simply because it can't reach the same brightness of a normal bulb in a lamp. Since the LEDs are only on the bottom of the tube, you'll start to see the color and brightness
brightness fade away as it gets higher and higher. Now here is my nightstand lamp with an LED bulb that is equivalent to 60 watts in comparison to the Govee Smart LED lamp. If you are planning to use the Govee Smart LED lamp as a reading light or to help brighten up a room, then you're going to be slightly disappointed. It's a really cool smart lamp that definitely adds that woe well factor when you walk into a room, but it's not going to replace a traditional lamp with a bulb. Over the last few years, Govi has really been innovating and becoming the top brand in smart lighting. This is their first iteration of this type of smart LED lamp, and I'm hopeful they're just going to make it better on the next version. So I hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and throw some comments below and let me know what your thoughts are on this smart lamp. If you're interested in learning more about the Govi smart LED lamp, you can find the link in the description below. And if you do decide to purchase this lamp using my link, it does help support the channel at no cost to you. Have a good one, everybody. That's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.